Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. And so I was cleaning off my desk, my craft area, and I found a pile of scrap file themed papers. And so instead of continuing to clean, I just thought, well, maybe I should just challenge myself to use these scraps to make something. And I've recently been wanting to make a gratitude journal and something I can use during the month of November. And so I thought, what if I turned this into a gratitude journal? But then I didn't want to do all the measuring and things that um, a mini album takes and certain journals take. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to play with these papers and I am going to create a little journal mini album type thing and we'll see what it turns out to be. I'm just going to challenge myself to use all the scraps. Well, not use them all, but use all scraps for this and not pull out any new paper for it. And I want my pages, I have just thought about it, and I want the pages, when I was looking at these strips, so they're all different sizes. So I want my pages in my little journal or mini album to be different sizes. And so when I typically make a mini album, I make a accordion folded like um, for the binding. I can't, but today I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just going to free form and see what I come up with as I create this album. So I'm gonna just get started and let's see what comes of it. So let me measure this one. I'm gonna measure and just see how tall this one is. It's about four and a half. So I'm going to, um, let's cut this one at nine and a quarter. Cut it right here. And we'll cut this little end off. So then we'll cut it at nine and a quarter. And let's see. So this one, let me go ahead and get my scoreboard down. And go ahead and score it so I don't have to remember any measurements. And so I'm gonna try something different that I've never tried on how I'm making a little journal or album and see how it works out today. And maybe it'll work out. So I'm gonna score it at this one. I want the page to be four and a half, so I'm gonna score it at four and a half, and then I'm gonna score it again at four and three quarters. And so this part should measure four and a half as well. Yes, yeah, so both sides are four and a half. So that worked out. So, just fold that. And we'll just see how this turns out. I hope it turns out cute. I love the fall colors. And so I know I'm late in the year getting my gratitude journal together since we're already in November, but it's better late than never. So I may get started late on it, but at least I will, will get one done. And let's see, that one's the same size. So I don't wanna use that one yet. Let me see what other papers I have. Let me see. I think these papers also are coming from two different um, paper pads. One of them is the file paper pad from last year from Michaels and then this one I do recognize it came from the paper pad this year from Michaels, a file paper pad. But I can't remember the names of either one of them. So, um, let me see, how would that measure again? I was talking. So that one measures nine. So maybe that one, that was probably too small for what I was gonna do. Let me find a different one. Let's see, let's take a look at this one. And it is four by, and it's a whole 12 inches. So I'm going to cut it at Again, nine. So that was nine. Those pages was four and a half pages. So maybe I do that again. So I cut it at nine and a quarter. So I'm going to add a half of an inch to it for the where I scored. Where it's going to. That's where I'm going to attach it together. We're going to see how that works. So now. Where did I do with my scoring tool? Okay, I can use this one until I find it. So this one's at nine, so let's go four and a half. And then we're gonna go three quarters over, so that's one, two, three, so that would be five and a quarter. 
Is that right? One, two, three. Yes. And then we'll just check it. Yes. So we're going to fold that up. That way. And so what I'm going to do, I think, I'm going to try it. We'll see how it works. I'm just going to stack these pages like this. And even though some is taller than the others, I think, I think it's going to be cute. So that one I measured three quarters. I just have to remember that measurement in order to keep up with what I'm doing. And so I think I'll add, let me see. Let's add this one. I think the tallest height that I want is five inches. So as long as I keep these within that amount, and that should work out. There. And then I'm going to cut this one at, so let's see, I've got a glare on this. Well, if I cut it at nine, the pages are gonna be four and a half again. And then you have to add, the last one was nine and, Three quarters, so I have to add a half an inch to so be not ten and a ten and a quarter. And do I want to do that one ten and a quarter? Hmm. Let me decide here. This is what. Yeah, let's do ten and a quarter, and see how that turns out. But I think in order to do ten and a quarter, I'm going to cut just a little off this end, so I still get this whole pattern here. And then move it around 10 and a quarter and see how much it's going to cut off here. Hmm. So I'm going to cut again right here. And I'm going to keep fussing like this till I get what I want on here and still get 10 and a quarter. I'm going to have to cut quite a bit off, I think, to get to the 10 and a quarter mark. Hmm. I just want it to kind of look even. So let me see. This is going to take a bit. Instead of doing measurement and calculation, I'm just going to keep cutting. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and score this one before I forget all the measurements again. And so this is 10 and a quarter, so we're going to measure, we're going to score it again at four and a half. And then this one needs to be an inch and one quarter. Yes, because that would be adding a half inch on. Hopefully that works out. These are just scraps, and if this doesn't turn out to be anything, at least I had fun creating and took some time to craft today. So let's see what we have. We have one, two, three, and let me see what pages I used again. Two, three. So I'm going to use this one for my last page. And I'm going to cut it at, let me see here, I think I'm going to add, let me see what I want to add in here. I wonder um, if I could add a little something. I think I will. Hold on. So this one I'm going to, if this one was one, it measured one and a quarter, okay. I want this one to be at five inches this way. And then I did ten and a quarter, so let's just add another half inch to that. So it's going to be ten and three quarters. Oops. And then I'm going to score that at four and a half, and then I'm going to do it, let's see, an inch and a, last time was an inch and a quarter, so if I add, if I add a half inch to one and a quarter, and I add another half inch, that's going to be, so I'm going to do it at six and a quarter. Hopefully these measurements work out. And I know I was going up a half an inch each time, and that's adding a lot of room. So I'm thinking to go back 
and add in. I'm gonna add in um, some little flaps to make some little pockets. So it went like this. I just don't want all the color. I don't want the colors to be the same. So I'm gonna take this one and I am going to make it a little pocket. So it's going to be, um, now I'm going to, to do some math, I think. So where do I want to put it? I'm going to put it right here. So I'm going to score it at a half inch, but then I just want some flaps coming up. So I think I'll be okay to cut it. What if I cut this strip in half and do that? So it's six. So I'm going to score it at two and a half, and then three, and then I'm going to have to cut a little off of that because I just need it as a flap. So let me fold it. I think I'm gonna fold it this way. And then hopefully this all makes sense when I start putting it together. So I'm just going to stick that there, here. Okay. I'm sorry for the little noise in the background. I think it's getting nap time for my youngest snails, and so she gets a little fussy. She wants somebody to put her on the couch so she can take a nap. So now this one measured, I think it was one and a quarter. So I'm going to do it at one, do this one one inch. So two and a half, and then I mean two and a quarter. I'm scoring it at two and a quarter. And then I'm going to score at three and a quarter. That gives me a little flap there. And so let's start putting this together and see what I have here. So let me get some blue. So I gotta decide first before I start gluing them how I So let me line all these up again and see how it's all gonna look. Make sure I got it like I want it. Yes, that's going to work. So, let's start gluing. And the pages that are white, I'm going to glue something onto them too. So, let's go ahead and start gluing this together. And I stored my glue upside down. I think I mentioned in one of my other videos that I was having issues with my glue. So I stored my glue upside down so that it would come out, maybe it would flow out easier. And, and today it really is. When I just, this is the first time I've opened it and it poured out without me having to shake it or do any crazy stuff with it. So that might be part of the answer with this glue is to store it upside down. I do know when you when you're crafting and you leave the lid off for an extended period of time, you know, like I'm doing now, wait in between. If you do too long, I think it starts to um, clog the nozzle as well, but I guess most glues do that. Okay. And so I think what I'm going to do in this journal, if it works out, I am going to um, copy verses that have to do with being thankful this during November and then I will have pockets or something. I'm going to put something in it so that I can write down what I am thankful for. I always like to do something in November for thankful and it's nice. I have in the past kept a, a, a journal of all the things like I was thankful for each day and I would write it down in, at night before I went to bed and I think it really helps to do that because some days it feels like everything went wrong but when you sit down and you write down some of the good things from the day something good that happened from the day or something that you enjoyed from the day or something that made you smile 
anything like that, then you start seeing the good in your days, even, oops, that's upside down. No, it's wrong. Even when things are going bad, you can see the good in it. And I think that helps us when we can see the good to realize that not everything is so bad in the world. So if you notice, I did this page a different facing up. And, and so it doesn't matter because I am going to cover the white side. So it doesn't really matter which way I do these. So I'm going to do some facing up and some down. And we'll see how this goes. It's just a thought I had on using these scraps. So instead of cleaning them up. I'd much rather craft than clean anyway. So, so that's what I'm doing. And we've got beautiful weather here. I probably should be outside, but it's super cold to me out there, but it's beautiful, sunshiny day. Some of you that live in cooler areas probably would consider day warm, but for us, it, it feels cold out. So let me see here. Let's see. Try to add that. Trying to center them up as much as possible. Even though they're different sizes, just center them up throughout the album. Let me see what I got here now. So these I'm going to add pockets to, and I'll show you in just a second how I got in mind to do that. And I'm thinking I might um, probably add a cover to this once I get done and figure out what I want to do with it. Okay, so let's find some more scraps and start working on the pockets. So, let me find my ruler as well so I can measure this flap. Because I really didn't stay consistent with any size. So with this one, it measures two and a quarter by four and a half. So now what I want to be my pocket here. Let's try this one. So. Let me see here how tall I want it to. So let's cut it down to, um, Four and a half. And then we're going to cut, since that flap is two and a quarter by, doesn't really, let me measure that one more time, by four, it's four and a half. So I need this. I'm going to have this wrap around it. So four and a half plus four and a half would be nine. And let's give myself a little overlap, just a little bit to see. This one, put this back over here. So I want it to be at four and a half. And so, um, it's got a fold like this over it okay so I scored this piece wrong I what I wasn't that's what when you don't pre-plan sometimes you'll wind up with little errors but I'll find some way to use this piece in a few minutes but I'm gonna recut this one so that it's at nine and a let's see nine and a half again and let's see if I can score this one correctly so I want my I want it to go around it at four and a half so I instead, of, I think I scored this one at four and a quarter is what happened, yes. So I'm gonna score at four and a half. And then, let me make sure, then I'm gonna score again at nine. And that should, yes, that works. And then this will wrap right here, like this. And then we will just attach this over this flap. And I need to cut the corners on this flap so that it doesn't have an issue going down. So let's just cut the corners across. This flap here, let me see if I can get a hold of it. I may not be able to do it where you can see, I don't know. 
and I'm just cutting at an angle so that when I slide this on like this, it'll just work out just fine. Let me see how that's going to fit. Make sure it's going to fit before I glue it. And I might want to just trim just a little more and just go all the way down to that point. That's what I'm going to do. Trim all the way down to this point. And I'll glue it. And I want to cut these as well. So I'm going to just cut it right across to the point there and there. And then just glue this down for our pocket. Okay, make sure it's glued good before I put it on there. Got a little glue on it. Let me take my little eraser and get it off. Okay, so now let's just see if that will work right there. So that works perfect. So now I just need to attach it. So I just want to attach it on one side so that my pocket is not glued shut. So I'm going to take and attach glue here. And then attach it here. And if you try a challenge like this, I'd love to see it. You, ought, you uh, I enjoy challenging myself sometimes, and I'd love to see if you challenge yourself. Be sure to tag me on Instagram or um, on your YouTube channel so I can see it. See your challenge that you give yourself. And I was wrong. I have to add a little glue here because my pocket won't be closed up. What was I thinking? But I'm not going to glue the whole piece. I'm just gluing a thin line along the bottom. And this would be a great place to use um, to use double-sided tape. And I just hadn't had a chance to order me any. I need to get some ordered. Still looking for my bone folder. I don't know where I put that earlier. Let me see if I got this lined up on here straight. There we go. So, we have a pocket. Oops, I got glue everywhere. Okay, so now we got another, we got a little pocket there. So that'll be cute to have a pocket. And then I wanted to add a pocket onto this one. So let me see what I'll use as my pocket. I'm thinking, thinking this print is what I'm going to use. Let me see. Or I could, if I cut this down more, I could use this one. I'm going to have to cut it down quite a bit to use that one. So maybe I'll just use that one on one of the pages. I think that's what I'll do. So let me put the lid on this glue so it's not drying out while I'm cutting my paper. So I'm just going to cut it again at, I want it to be no taller than five inches. So I think I'm going to take off the gold strip first and see how much, where's five inches going to fall. If I put that at five inches, I'm going to have the gold on the bottom. Or do I want to put uh, right here at five inches? I think that's what I'll do. I think I'm going to keep the gold strip at the top and just cut right along here for the five inches. And then I need to cut this at nine and a half again. So I'm thinking this is a fun way to use up my scraps and to challenge myself and see what I can come up with. And plus I've been wanting a gratitude journal, so I think this will be good. Because what I'm gonna do is I'll write the verse on I'll probably cut out some tags or cut out some um, scallop shapes, something, and then I will just glue them on the pages. So I'll write it out first. So if I make any mistakes, I can rewrite it and then just glue it in the book. I won't. I don't think I'm going to write directly into the book because a lot of times I mess up and do something wrong when I'm writing. Okay, so let's see. We got to go four and a half again, and then we're going to go at nine. And we'll 
cut our corners and make our tag. I mean, make our tag, make our pocket. I'm gonna use that one and let's make all the pockets real quick. Let me see what other paper I have. That would be big enough to make a pocket. What about this one? This one's a texture. I don't know if you can see it, but it's textured. But is it? It's not going to be what? Um, it might be tall enough. Let's see when I cut it down how tall it actually is. It's going to be about. Hmm. Let's try it. Let's, it's nothing. Nothing lost if we try it and it doesn't work. So let's just try and see what happens. I'm going to score it at, once again, four and a half and nine. And that's another pocket ready. I'm going to cut the tips of it. I have to find my scissors. I then covered them up with all the paper. So I'm just going to cut these edges. So how many more pockets do I need? Mm, got that one. That one. So we got one, two, three more. So I need one more pocket. So I have these two, and then I need one more. So let's find one more piece of scrap this one is big enough but the direction would be incorrect so i want to wait on that one unless i i could cut it and score it let's see how big that is that's going to be a lot more let's hold off let's i might i might do that one but let me see what else i have in the pile first i'm starting to run low on bigger pieces on a okay so we will use, I need one more pocket, so what do I want? Let's do this guy, I know what I'll do. It needs to be four and a half. I'll just make a flap on each side. So this one needs, to, I need to cut him down to at least right below five. Okay, and then right here he, so he needs to be, cut him at five. Did I already mess up? Hmm. No, I know what I can do. So, let me look again. Having to think, oh, I want him to be like this. So yeah, I did not mess up because I can just, if I do them like this, I just need to attach at the bottom and or do I want to make my pocket like that? So I could just take, okay, so if I want this to be five inches tall, I need to add a half an inch just to give myself room. We're going to try this. I'm a little nervous cutting it though. Let's see. So go five and a half. And let's do another one at five and a half. And let's see if we can make these work. I could be totally off base here, what I'm doing. So I want him in the book like this. So I just need to do, I do a quarter inch on each side and glue it together. Let's try that and see. So, I'm going to score um, one quarter inch here. Then I'm going to flip it over and score a quarter of an inch here. And do that on this piece as well. Quarter of an inch. Flip it quarter of an inch. And let's see if this will work out. Actually, I need to score at a quarter inch on each end is what I needed. So, I'm just going to cut 
this part off that I scored. Put that away. It'll be smooth. Okay, let me get the other one. Cut these pieces off. on each end so let's score a quarter of an inch on that end and on that end okay and then just need to glue those together make sure it's going to fit I'm just going to cut this one. I think that I could just do um, one side glued to it with the flap like that. And I think that'll be plenty because I think it's going to make it too bulky if I do score it on both sides because then it's going to, the pocket's going to be open too much, I think. So let me glue this together and see if it fits in our book. See, the glue's been sitting up for a while, so now I'm having to really work to get it out. Well, that did better right there once I shook it. But... So let me see here. Let me move this out of my way. So I can lay it on the table here. Just want to line. So I can put it, line it up straight. Right there, right on the line, score line, or right below it. So it will still fold. And then I'm just going to attach this one the same way, the top here. And I'm just going to press down. And we'll see if this works. Oops, I'm keep going around it. Yes, that's going to work. It's a little bigger than the rest, but I think that's going to be fine. Let me see here. I got this one. What page do I want him on, though? Could be cute beside the plaid. Or... Trying to this side. It's plaid on both sides, isn't it? So it doesn't really matter. I think it'll be fine right here. And since it is so wide, I'm not going to cut the corners on this. It doesn't need to be. So I'm just going to glue the whole tag here and then on the back side I'm just going to um, glue at the bottom. I'm just going to put it on first and glue one side and then reach up under there and glue the other. I'm just going to line it up trying to make it even top and bottom so it doesn't hang too much out of my book. It is a little bigger. Okay, so then I'm just going to put a little glue right along the edge there. And then just press it down.
Okay, so that one's sticking out of the book, but I'm not bothered by that because if I do not like it, I could cut it off. I'll have to decide. It is sticking out quite a bit more than the rest of the pages. Let's see here. Maybe I just take the scissors and cut across right here. I'm going to use my big one so I can make big cuts and not, maybe it'll be straighter. And I'm just going to cut straight across this little line so that it's my guide as far as I'm cutting. There we go. So that's better. Okay. So now we have, we have pages and then a pocket and then another page pocket, page, and another page, and then a pocket, and we just, pages and pockets. So, now I need to put some, cover up the white pages. Okay, let's see here, what else do I have? Scrap wise, this one's, I think will fit somewhere. That would be good with that page. Maybe like this, so let's do it. One three quarters and a half. One three quarters. Four and a half. Mm -hmm. okay, so I kind of want it to have the little score line there. So. Have the little gold line, I guess I should say, not score line. I don't want to cut it off. Not sure, maybe it'd be cute like that. Okay, so I took a small little break and got me a glass of tea and I went through my papers, tried to organize them a little bit more to see what I had left and which big pieces I had and then some of the smaller pieces. And what I've decided, if you notice how this pocket I did it, it's sideways, it's not the right direction. So I'm going to put strips on this page across from it the same way so it'll be the same direction and looks intentional because I think I, I didn't do that intentional, but we could pretend like I did. I think it's cute, so I'm not I'm not upset that it's not that it's not the right direction. So that's good. Plus, you have to remember this is just a go with the flow type project. So I'm going to take and just glue these strips on. What I'm going to do is just add glue to the actual page. We'll see how this does. I have never done this either in an album, but I want to try it and see. Since I didn't have a lot of big pieces that I was in love with for, to go beside this page. Make sure I don't start where it won't fold, okay. Just line it up. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna glue them right onto the page and then I'm gonna come back and cut it off. So then I want this one to be next. I'm just gonna put it right underneath that one since it, let me just put, raise it up just a little and put some glue underneath there. There we go. Now I'm just going to add this one. I think I'm just slide it slightly underneath it. Slide it down. Make sure it's lining up at the bottom. Okay. And then, how much of that one do I want? I've got room for one more. Maybe I should stop right there. Just add that one or cut this one off and add it. I'm gonna do this one. Even those two gold pieces side by side, I'm still gonna do that. Let's see, I'm gonna add some glue so none of the flaps come loose, none of the strips. Add just a little bit under that pumpkin piece where I missed. I didn't realize how big it was, so let's just go back and do some around the edges here. 
so nothing comes loose. And then just slide this one on. And I like that. I like how that turned out. So let me go ahead and slide. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my scissors, go to the back side, and just cut it off. And I'm saving all these little scraps. When I cleaned up the mess, when I paused the video and got me a glass of tea and cleaned up a little bit just to see what I had here, I did not throw anything away yet because I may need some of this to decorate my um, to decorate my pages. So I am saving every bit and piece that I can just to see. I like challenges, so this is good. And there we go. So, now I am trying to think. I could do this one and see how that would kind of look like the tree just keeps going. And if I did that on this end, I could, instead of a tree again, I could just do this pumpkin patch. Or I could keep it more simple and do this and then decorate it up. I still do not know. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead. Whoops, there's another one that needs covering. And what would we cover it with? Would this be big enough? Yes, it would. See, that's why I didn't throw anything away because I may can use it eventually in this little album. So this is going to use up my scraps that may I would have laid around for months or years because once I have scraps, I tend to pull from the actual paper pads instead of pulling from my scraps. So this helps me to pull from my scraps some and not waste them. Is this one gonna be big enough that direction? Yes. So just under, just over four inches. So let's cut here and here. And then let's see how much I need to cut off, if I need to cut off anything else. Let me see here. Okay. Just add this in. Gotta slide it up. I don't want it to mess up my pages turning. Is that gonna be okay? Yes. So then what I can do is I do have a little extra here. I'll just take my scissors and just trim that off. There we go. So we're almost done with our little gratitude journal. I think we've got all the pages covered now. And let's just check. Well, I know except for the front. I hadn't done that one yet. And I'm, I hate to go plain, but I'm thinking that may be the only one that looks right. I'm going to add this to the cover. And then inside cover here. And then I may, I can always add strips if I change my mind. So. Let me see. I think I'm just going to glue it down and then cut around it. That's what I'm going to do. And that'll be easier than measuring. I should have been doing that all along, I believe. Since I am trying to go with the flow. So, let's see here. I'm going to add it here. Just be sure we line it up right here. Right inside the score line. So it bends. Press it down. Then I'm just going to trim.
And I'll definitely save these scraps to finish it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. So, now I can start, we'll save that aside. I think I'm gonna start what step do I wanna do next? Maybe I should make some tags for the pockets or should I decorate the pages up? Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's a good question. Okay, I could cut these apart so that I can figure out where I want to use them. did go through my scraps some more to see what all I had and so I'm going to I've decided not to make a cover for this but to use this as the actual cover since this is going to be my um, gratitude journal um, it's not going to be uh, going through a lot of heavy I guess um, I'm not gonna be carrying it around and it's not it doesn't have to be but so sturdy and I think it's gonna hold up fine because this is cardstock that I used it's really thick um, printed cardstock and since it's double I'm double sided and stuff it feels sturdy enough to me and as you can see it's kind of holding its own so I think I'm just going to decorate the cover and what I've done while I had the camera off is this was already one of the strips and I just cut it off and then I took some of the scrap paper and I punched it and I'm just going to use the back side so that I have the white and so what I'm trying to do is still use up my scraps and not pull out any which I do have some scrap solids but I thought it'd be best just to um, use the back side it'd be just as good and so now I'm just going to add it so it kind of looks like lace around this little part that says autumn and so that's what I'm going to do now and, and decorate my cover and then I did cut apart the um, what I call journaling cards I'm not really sure what you call them it's the cut aparts in your in your paper pad that um, the small ones like this I cut a bunch of those apart and what I've decided to do with those is I've tucked them in the pockets of the album. And as I go through each day or each week as I'm working in this album, when I copy the scripture down and then uh, write, and as I'm working each day in it, writing what I'm thankful for, I'm going to use these cards. So they actually are going to be some of my tags in here. And then some days like this one, um, I might can write the scripture on it and then glue it on the page. So I'm going to continue to just decorate it and add to it that way so that, um, because if I glue them down now, I don't want to have to write in the book. You know, I just, it, it's, it lays flat enough that I could, but if I messed up, I want to write in ink, and if I mess up, then I'll be disappointed. So I'd rather write on it outside of the journal and then glue it in. So that's what I'm going to do each day. And then, um, well, I won't be writing a verse each day if there's not enough pages for that, but I will be writing in here what I'm thankful for, and I will be adding. I can even write it on the backs of these and then just put them in the tag holder. And I did make a few tags, and I decided to um, cover the backs of some of the tags, so I'll have to add another little piece of journaling card to it if I decide to, um, if I do decide to write my stuff on those. So I'm just trying to make a little cover, just a little decoration for the cover, and I thought this was cute. And hopefully it's the right, let me see, I may have to trim just a little off. Let's see what side I wanna trim off of. Just a little bitty bit. Okay, let's see there. Just want it to go across and not stick out, and that'll be perfect. Okay, so we'll just add this to the front, and that pretty much completes this little album. And it, oops, it's upside down. And it can be made, and it's just an afternoon, just a quick little album, using up the scraps that we have laying around. And like I said, you can make one similar if you'd like, and um, you just use different measurements according to what scraps you have. And if your scraps are smaller, then just make your album a little smaller. You know, I started out thinking, okay, I want my front to be, you know, my tallest measurement to be five inches tall. And it seemed like most of my 
other measurements was about um, four and a half or under. So, I mean, four and a half this way. And may, all of them may have ended up being four and a half that way because they do line up pretty even. It's just the shorter and taller. And I may try to make one eventually where the, it's a lot size, a lot more size difference in them. Let me put all these. And I also had some scraps like this, the little squares or rectangles. I added those in the pockets because that will be something I can also write on and then glue it in my book. And I am going to gather all these supplies up and put them in a Ziploc bag so that I have them so I can add them in my book because it does match. And I had a bunch of these. I don't know if I still, yeah, that was some scraps that I had that cut and I folded them the other day and I had another idea for them, but I may somehow add them in my book, like glue them here and have a flap, but I haven't totally decided. I think as I decorate it, as I'm journaling is when I'm gonna decorate it. And I could always use these and cut them apart and it could be the white paper that I put in here, or I could actually write on this and then glue it somewhere in here. So I'll see, it's just gonna be a work in progress as I, as I do it. And I'll do a little flip through when I get done. Hopefully at the end of uh, November, I don't know if I'll complete it by the end or if it'll be more into December, but I'll try to do a little flip through when I finish it, finish writing my scripture in it and things. So, um, so you can see how it ends up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and it did get a little long, so I hope you made it to the end. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and if you will like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And if you subscribe, you can hit the notification bell, and that way, when um, I do upload new videos, you will be notified. Well, have a great week. Bye.